In central India, near the city of Sauni in Malwa, a remarkable incident unfolded in a village of Madhya Pradesh. An orphaned monkey faced a dire threat when it was attacked by a pack of dogs. Amidst this peril, a courageous dog named Ruby rushed to the rescue. Despite her own hardships, Ruby had lost one eye due to mistreatment by a previous owner. She vehemently opposed injustice. Ruby not only saved the baby monkey, but also embraced a maternal role towards it. According to Suresh, Ruby's current owner, the bond between his pet and the monkey is inseparable. Ruby carries the monkey on her back, protects it tirelessly, and nurtures it as if it were her own pup. Suresh recounted how Ruby intervened when the monkey was surrounded by dogs, risking her own safety to safeguard the infant. From that moment on, Ruby has treated the monkey as her own, caring for it deeply. This extraordinary duo, Ruby and the monkey, have become a local phenomenon, drawing visitors from neighboring villages who come to witness their unique bond. Their story prompts reflection on the depths of compassion and unexpected connections that can form between different species. As for the incident with the cow adopting lambs in Norway, when a sheep passed away, leaving three orphaned lambs without a mother, it similarly highlights the capacity of animals to extend nurturing care beyond their own kind. These instances remind us of the remarkable empathy and resilience found in the animal kingdom, often transcending boundaries of species to forge profound relationships. Their owner, a Norwegian farmer, faced a dilemma when three orphaned lambs were left without a mother after a sheep passed away. Instead of resorting to artificial feeding, the farmer sought a surrogate mother among nearby sheep but found no suitable candidates. However, he discovered a cow on a neighboring farm that had recently lost her own calf and showed willingness to nurse the lambs. Quickly adapting to their presence, the cow not only nursed the lambs but also took on the role of nurturing and caring for them as her own. She even demonstrates protective behavior, calling out to the lambs if they stray too far. In another heartwarming instance from the animal kingdom, a nine-year-old Labrador named Laisha has earned a reputation as a caretaker for various baby animals. Laisha's nurturing instincts have led her to adopt and care for over 30 animals, including a baby hippo, a porcupine, and currently three tiger cubs. Known affectionately as the Angelina Jolie of the dog world, Laisha enthusiastically takes on the responsibility of caring for abandoned or orphaned baby animals, showcasing her remarkable ability to nurture and protect them. Laisha's remarkable caregiving talent has been cherished by her owners for a long time, and her list of adopted animal charges continues to grow, highlighting her exceptional compassion and caregiving skills within the animal community. Laisha resides in a South African nature reserve under the care of Rob Hall, who heads the Kango Wildlife Ranch in Outstorn. According to Mr. Hall, Laisha displayed remarkable maternal instincts right from her early days at their home. Whenever encountering an unfamiliar creature, she would approach and immediately shower it with affectionate licks, as described by Laisha's owner. Her nurturing journey began with kittens and later extended to surprising encounters, such as with a porcupine. Recognizing her extraordinary talent, the Halls decided to harness Laisha's compassion for the benefit of the park. Nadine Hall explains that whenever Laisha spots a box containing an animal brought into the house, she intuitively understands it needs care, adopting it as if it were her own puppy. Currently, Laisha dedicates herself to three tiger cubs, Farida, Shakir, and Kara, spending considerable time with them. However, Mr. Hall notes that occasionally Laisha needs to retreat from the playful cubs, mindful that despite their affectionate bond, they are still growing tigers. In another heartwarming tale from the Cuban countryside, a dog named Yeti has earned her place as a beloved figure. Yeti, known for her nurturing nature, serves as a surrogate mother not only to her biological puppies, but also to 14 piglets. This unexpected adoption occurred when the piglets, just 15 days old, began seeking Yeti out for nursing alongside her own pups. Farmer Monarchus Sandamaria recounts that while the piglets still nurse from their biological mothers, they eagerly run to Yeti when she appears, treating her like their own. Yeti's unique role evolved naturally, without coercion, 
and has led her to simultaneously care for both her biological offspring and the piglets, showcasing her innate caregiving instincts. Despite initially uncertain about allowing the piglets to nurse alongside her puppy, Yeti relented in the face of their persistence. This touching story illustrates the depth of compassion and nurturing instinct that transcends species boundaries, creating enduring bonds that enrich the lives of both animals and humans alike. Santa Maria and his wife, Ida Ferris, tend to a variety of animals on their small farm in the eastern province of Kamagi, including pigs, chickens, pigeons, and turkeys. Among the dogs that have found their way to the farm, Yeti stands out as the only one who has taken on the role of an adoptive mother to piglets. According to Fernanda, Yeti seems unfazed by this unconventional motherhood role. In another remarkable case of interspecies adoption, a cat in Ukraine took on the responsibility of caring for abandoned squirrels. The squirrels had fallen from their nest and lay on the ground for several hours until rescued by a teacher. After a veterinary examination, the teacher decided to take the squirrels home. Initially cautious, she allowed the cat near one squirrel, expecting the cat to react aggressively due to their rodent-like appearance. Instead, the cat began cleaning the squirrel as if it were a kitten, prompting the other squirrels to recognize her as their surrogate mother and begin nursing. I thought the cat might want to eat them because they looked more like mice or rats than kittens, recalled the teacher, Irina Cherny. But all she did was start cleaning them. Irina documented the heartwarming scenes of the cat nursing and grooming the squirrels, which soon adapted to their unexpected feline foster mother. Turning to the internet for guidance, Irina learned how to care for the squirrels, collecting pine cones from the forest and purchasing nuts from the supermarket to feed them. About a month later, the cat eventually abandoned her charges, prompting Arena to move the growing squirrels to a separate room. As they matured, their natural instincts led them to become increasingly active, gnawing on walls and causing mischief around the house. As a result, the six squirrels now reside in a cage in the courtyard under Arena's care, where they continue to thrive despite their unconventional upbringing. Despite the Cherny family having grown accustomed to the squirrels, they have decided to give them to a zoo, believing that the squirrels would thrive better in that environment.